What's going on guys? Glenn, Midtown Power Washers. Beautiful Memphis, Tennessee. We're in South Haven today. We got the ladder out. We got the cougar paws on. We were about to spray this roof and I hopped up on the ladder like right here. And all of a sudden I realized that with that tall reach tip from Southeast Soft Wash, I'll link it in the description. I paid for it just like you will. Uh, so this isn't paid or anything, but I could reach well over that roof. So we shot this entire house all the way around from the ground. My guy, Matt was just walking by doing property protection. I'm directing him as I'm moving. Um, I think we were here for 30 minutes. So, um, for a 1800 square foot house wa or roof wash, 30 minutes. Come on guys. I'm pretty, pretty pumped about it. We got two more to go do today. Um, I'll try to get some more footage of those so you can kind of see. One of the biggest things when you're doing a roof wash is communication because Matt has the most important job there is right here. And that's putting water where it needs to be, when it needs to be there for as long as it needs to be there. So you'll kind of see me, and this is sped up a little bit. So you'll kind of see me pointing things out. Hey, get it over here. Hey, right there. Um, I need you to get on this gutter line. I need you to spray those windows, you know, things like that. We're, we're communicating really, really well. You can't really tell how um, deep that roof is from this angle, but if you look on the right, you can kind of see the angle of the slope. That's how that roof was uh, in the back back there. So to reach up all the way up there from, from the ground is, is pretty impressive with a 12 volt. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm using a seven gallon a minute. I don't know if that helps me any for distance, but it does help me with my output putting you know, a lot of chem out and it helps me move a little bit faster. Now we were the second guys to shoot this roof. This, this is a rental property that's part of an HOA and the HOA is fining the rental company because of the roof being so dirty. Uh, the residents told us that there had been somebody there about a month, month and a half before that sprayed the roof. So I called the rental company, asked them, Hey, did y'all hire a, another company to do this about a month ago? Cause if so, it's not clean. They did not do what they were supposed to do. You know, just kind of give them a heads up. Like this, this shouldn't have to be shot twice. This should, this is nothing crazy that it couldn't be shot one time a year. Um, you know, really impressed with the tall reach tip here because that's two stories and we're hitting it no problem. Uh, hitting that peak up there. Matt's doing a really good job of staying in front of me. And, and working, you know, getting stuff pre-wetted down. And then what, when I move through a section, he'll roll back behind me and he'll hit those gutters. And, you know, right now he's just spraying that downspout, but he'll hit those gutters and stuff just in case I got it. But this job could easily be done just by one person. Just make sure you're stopping, taking your time to wet everything down, re-wet everything down, keep a hose in a downspout, let it roll. Um, because it's going to saturate the area and that's kind of a goal when you've got something with gutters. I wouldn't advise somebody to try to spray a house by themselves without gutters, if, especially if you don't know what you're doing. If you're not, you know, if haven't done a few before, kind of wait until you've got some help for those because, you know, that's obviously a whole nother mess of worms right there if you don't, if you don't stay on top of it. But, you know, right here, it's just a it's just him going with me, you know, he's, he's just staying with me and spraying what needs to be sprayed while I'm spraying, you know, on this next clip, this is the second house we did my phone overheated. So you have this very short clip. I'm standing on about five foot up in the air on a ladder just to, just to catch the rest of that top. That's it. All right. So that's a wrap. We just got back to the house. It is, I think it's three 30. So we were out, we did two roof washes a gutter cleaning and a driveway cleaning in what is that five hours um, that's drive time included we had to drive 30 minutes to where we were going then 15 minutes over and then 30 minutes back so um not bad you know you can't expect to be able to do these things as you saw on the video you know we have the equipment and the personnel to move fast like that and um, it was sped up a little bit, but we were still hauling it. You know, we worked really well in tandem. I can direct him while I'm spraying. We're both kind of working around each other. Um, we found a good workflow to accomplish all that. So starting out, 
you're not going to be able to do that. You know, you might be the only one out there doing this. So you're going to have to spray and then you're going to have to get that hose and you're going to have to water stuff. You're going to have to have that hose sitting up in a gutter running. Um, and you're going to have to figure it out yourself. But with that tall reach tip, it makes it a lot easier than having to climb up and down ladders. When I was doing it, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, I was climbing up ladders and I was going back down. I'd spray a little bit, come back down, spray plants, go back up, spray a little bit, come back down, spray plants. So it takes a little bit more time consuming, but with that tip, I would have saved that much more time because I could just pick up the wand, spray, pick up the hose, wet down, and it would have worked just fine that way. And, uh, you know, upgrading this equipment as you need it, right? Uh, one of these tips is not expensive. If you've already got a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system, then you've already made enough little money. Uh, you're already doing enough to be able to, to, to afford it. You know, he goes on a J rod, there's a fan tip and then there's a shooter tip and I switch back and forth house washes. We do our house washes the same way I go through and I apply Matt comes behind me and he rinses or vice versa, depending on what we're doing. Um, that's just kind of the upgrades that you, you start getting into. Um, I would tell anybody, and we had those twist nozzles forever, and I like them. They're very quick to change from fan to shooter. You just don't get the distance, and that and that thing's going to mess up after some time. We've gone through a bunch of them. So this is something that's stainless. It's never going to you know, mess up. It should never, ever mess up. It's always going to last us. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, all that. If you want to hear about more about the inner circle um it's a group i'm part of it's kind of like a mastermind uh group and we do bi-weekly calls on zoom and a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls with guys and and things of that nature if you want to talk to guys like like me uh tyler starkey ben wilson aaron parker uh justin rogers mike vidan cody yarbro if you want to talk to guys like that that, that are known in the business not me so much but like those other guys you know if you want to talk to guys like that that have a lot of knowledge and you want to be close to somebody like that which is what i want to be i want to be close to the people that are successful um sometimes that costs a little money but i can tell you this you there is a return on your investment and um you might not be able to equate it in numbers but we have we're going to double what we did last year this year and you know part of that goes to that so if that's something you're interested in there's also going to be a link in the description for it i'll try to link cody's if not uh you can go to southeast soft wash look up their tall reach tip um it's on there they also have a bunch of other amazing equipment um and and every little thing that you could possibly want to buy great line of chemicals uh we just got some degreaser sent to us we're going to try it out very soon try to try to do a couple of videos on it we've already used their we use their surfactant um really want to get some of that mud mayday and some of their graffiti uh graffiti davidi defeaty i think is the name of it. it's very pretty catchy um but we want to get two of those because we use a lot of we you know we do a, quite a bit of graffiti removal here in memphis and living in the south red clay stains are a you know they're everywhere so that's a good upsell to have. They make products for that whole line of them. Check them out, southeastsoftwash.com. Other than that, if you're wanting to get your business started, get it rolling, the zero to seven K, there's a link in the description for it. That's the course that I took when I was about two months in and um, it did not steer me the wrong way. It steered me into the path that I'm in today. And I'm very thankful for that. I can't say enough good things about it. It, it really, you know, it, it lowered that curve of learning and made it to where I could advance. I mean, not a lot of people were having a helper their first year or their second year, you know, they're waiting time and we're lucky enough now to where I have a helper. I have, you know, we have enough business, enough work. Um, and, and a lot of that goes to just applying the things that I learned in that course. So check it out as well. If you don't like somebody putting links on their channel, um, you know that is what it is man there's there's links down there you can use them if you want to this is just helpful information that i know of and helpful products that i know of that i personally use um i will never put anything on my channel that i don't 
personally use or haven't had an experience with. Um, and I'm definitely not going to put it on the channel if I don't like it. So <laughs> there's that. You know, this is just helpful to you. Again, I don't care. I'm not, you know, I may get a couple bucks off of some of these things, but I mean, it's not what pays my bills. It's not really my main concern. What pays my bills is what you saw today. Okay, me growing this business and all of these things I just mentioned are huge factors in helping me do that. So y'all be easy, stay safe, peace.